Okay, sir. Could you please start the conversation now? Thank you. Okay. Good afternoon, Mrs. Vanadi. Good afternoon. I am Punita Franklina, one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward. I am the nurse who is taking care of you today. How are you feeling today? Actually, sister, as you know that I have uh, this urinary tract infection. Also, they have diagnosed me for cancer. For that, they have given me the tablets. I am worried about the post-operative here, especially my husband is alone at home. You know that I am aged as well as my alone husband is alone at home. So I am a bit oh. worried about that. Oh, sorry to hear hear that, Mrs. Vanadi. Don't worry about that. I, we are here to help you. Help you. Okay. Um, before proceeding further, can I ask some more questions about your uh, general health? Okay, sister, you can. Uh, how you are managing your daily activities last six months? Last six months, sister, um, actually before I had this epileptic attack once, as well as once I had an attack of unconscious also. So I need one help to take care of me. Usually at home, my husband is the one to take care of me. So now I am in a hospital. So I am not uh, able to adjust with the situation. Also, I am really not... Uh, Yes, sister, tell me. I am really sorry to hear that, Mrs. Banerjee. Uh, if you don't mind, can I ask social worker to visit you? Visit you? What, sister? If you don't mind, can I ask social worker to visit you for your home help? Ah, yes, sister, no problem. You can. I am okay. very happy about that. Okay, okay, Mrs. Banerjee. I am glad to... Uh, I tell you that we have our social worker uh, will support you for all manner in your household activities and and your uh, personal health also also they will help you okay 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 sister thank you thank you okay. so much as, as you are uh, you are mentioned your your husband also really uh, sick he also needs some help that also we will uh, in, i will inform to uh, social worker that they will take care of your health condition. Do you have any okay, other concern sister. regarding this? Uh, no, sister. Actually, I am worried about my medication because I am staying in hospital. How long whether I need to continue my medication? Actually, I don't know much about the chemotherapy as well. I am old. Whether this chemotherapy will suit for my health whether it will give the positive effect towards my health. Can you explain this, sister? Yes, yes, Mrs. Vanadi, I will explain. Uh, this antibiotic and uh, medications are really help your condition as you are uh, diagnosed as colon cancer. That radiation therapy and chemotherapy medicines all really help you uh, to your improve your health. Okay. Okay, so don't worry about because of the radiation therapy or chemotherapy, whether I have any side effects, sister. Uh, that is uh, my injection side, there is there is mild pain, will be is not natural. Uh, other than that, no other side effects. Some uh, some person will uh, uh, experience some kind of dizziness and headache, uh, and maybe some person experience hair loss also. Don't worry about that. that that and all, we can able to manage with medications and supportive care. How does this sound? Mm, it's really good, sister. Do you have any other concern? No, sister. I'm happy about your answers and uh, my doubt was cleared now. But I'm much worried about that. I, I have to go as soon as possible to home. Because as if, I said you, early before, my husband at home alone. So that uh, that is the thing I am worried much about that. Don't worry about that. That we will uh, take care of with, through our social worker team. And uh, if you don't mind, can I give some life, lifestyle uh, modification tips? Mm -hmm. Okay, sister. But um, uh, you 
you whatever the suggestions you are giving whether i can i will try to follow that but i am tell you telling you again and again that you just help me to go from hospital as early as possible okay 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 mrs banadi i can un- really understand your feeling first of all you have to do some mild exercise that will help to reduce your uh, uh, that constipation and all with because said you are diagnosed and colon cancer that it may help to reduce your constipation and you have to take some fiber containing food as well as hot water it will help to reduce your uh, strain in your uh, colon okay and some mild exercise also will help to Uh, improve your conditions how does this sound yes sister i will follow this okay thank you okay, thank you okay, for mr. your suggestion okay mrs vanadi today we we are discuss about uh, the lifestyle changes as well as uh, i will inform the social workers to help help your personal and your husband daily care activities also that i will uh, i will in, immediately i will inform the social worker team they will help you okay okay, okay mrs sister. vanadi get well soon take care thank, thank you thank you all right let me give you the feedback you know for this role play conversation all right um okay let me go through this okay the first thing is the number of times you have repeated can able has been dramatically decreased so that's a good thing but still you have told the same thing okay never ever say can able okay, okay so what you should have done okay. you should have taken the revenge on this incorrect phrase by yesterday you know, i yesterday i took more yeah. uh, on the way full i i was practicing mm. like that yes you have to tell like 100 times okay like taking okay. a revenge on this phrase you have to say i can come tomorrow i can come i can do this i can read this i can write this so tell okay. all kinds of sentences at least 100 sentences 100 times for each okay. you know what i mean i mean there is no other way you have to artificial you have already developed it naturally over a period of time and no one has asked you to stop doing it okay no one has yes. identified this mistake unfortunately and it has to be stopped because you have got only five more days to go right so yes, i request you please stop doing this okay all right okay sir. go through one by one okay so the introduction part was really good so there was a good introduction part okay so yes, i'm very happy with that okay all right that's a good okay. thing and then sorry to hear that i have told you that you should not use this phrase you have to say i am sorry i'm sorry to hear Yes. and the other issue is that you have overused this phrase like anything you said i am sorry to yes. hear that every time why can't you use something different i understand you know how difficult for your husband to manage his activities use this phrase because she told that her husband is alone at home and she is uh, he is unable to manage his activities so you should say i understand your concerns and i know how difficult for your husband to manage his activities however i would be very happy to arrange a social worker as soon as possible so that your husband will get all kinds of services at home so this is how you should have okay. so don't say like i'm sorry to hear that your husband is alone i'm sorry to hear that you are doing this i'm sorry to hear that you are doing that no it's not good it's not going to okay. work okay all right vocabulary is okay. one of the major parameters of your assessment remember that please okay it's really really important and you have given false starts okay help you help you twice uh, you you have said uh, sorry to hear that but i will help you uh, help you okay that's what you have said okay. good all right no false okay. starts must be created false starts need to be avoided please okay please stop doing that don't tell the same thing and then you can you can create you have created this one as well um um and you know sometimes okay background noises need to be avoided all right okay i don't know where you have picked up you know like you you said uh, we will arrange uh, um, and then you said like you know something else to you is that okay with you like okay. it's like 
you are you are committing nat- unnatural passes or unnatural background noises which is not good and you said uh, how you are managing last 6 months that's wrong how you are managing for the last 6 months yes that's right how you are managing for the last 1 year how you are yeah. managing for the last 2 days how you are managing for the last 6 months how you are managing for the last 3 months for how you are managing for the last 7 years how you are managing for the last week okay for last okay. for the last okay. one week so use these kinds of phrases okay whenever you commit if i were you i will take this okay seriously okay. really seriously okay so if i commit a mistake i will take it and okay. that you know so i will take a revenge on this particular question okay means okay you know this question will be fed up with me okay i mean like i'll keep on using the question and if it has um, i mean if it has been used so many times i will not make mistakes again okay do you understand what i mean i don't i don't yes, want you sir. to commit the mistakes once again okay and okay, then you said okay. visit visit you visit visit you so twice i will arrange social worker to visit uh, visit you so this what you said that's not good right okay and then you said i will ask social worker to visit you no i will ask a social worker yes all the occupations need either a and or the must it is a must okay. you have to say i will arrange a doctor i will speak with the dentist i will speak with the veterinary uh, doctor i will speak with the nurse i will speak with the aged care nurse and so on you have to use okay. all those phrases like you know again and again again and again 100 times you know if you repeat this 100 times with the 100 different sentences you will not commit the mistakes once again okay okay sir do you understand what i mean take it seriously you have to brutally reduce your mistakes okay it's you don't show mercy towards your mistakes never ever show it please take it okay. seriously take it seriously you can improve your communication skills in speaking and writing as long as you do the same thing okay as i taught you okay all right let's go to the next one um okay mrs wanathi okay mrs wanathi you have said uh, you know those things twice and then you said and and you were that's wrong okay false stops okay need to be avoided okay okay false stops need to be avoided all right let's go to the next one so the next one is as you are mentioned okay as you are mentioned okay as you have mentioned or as you mentioned as you okay. have mentioned or you can say as as you, you mentioned okay okay either the you know participle verb or the past tense simple past whatever you you use i'm happy with that okay. that okay. also we will deal with it okay i don't know why you have been doing the same thing that also we will take care or that also we will provide no we will provide that, that. also we will provide that also or we will give that also okay don't okay. use that also we will provide that's wrong okay. that also we will do that also we will work out that's wrong that is definitely wrong okay and then you said okay medications and exercises all right medication and exercises are really are really help you i don't know what you want to say are really helpful to you are really helpful to you otherwise what you could have done is can help you okay all right okay. they can really help you or you can use even can they can really help you or can really help you okay so that is also fine all right but don't say are really help you that doesn't make sense at all okay, okay. and then you said medicines will helpful medicine all helpful sorry medicines all helpful that's wrong medicines are helpful okay don't say all helpful okay no okay and then you said improve your improve uh, they will also help you Im- improve help you improve or something you know you said like i think but you should say help you to improve that is what you should have done okay help you to improve is the yeah. correct one this is how you should have told <laughs> but i think you have done a mistake i couldn't find it out but that's wrong okay and then no other side effect okay 
never use a singular noun you should write down plural okay. noun for the, all the effects side effects or long term consequences okay. long term effects short term effects and so on so there will not be any other side effects or you can say there okay. are no other side effects effects plural noun okay. okay and you said some person face headache some person face nausea some person face something else no this is not good you you should not repeat the these things again and again repeated phrases okay you should say some people face this problems others face something else okay, okay. so that's how you should have said so don't repeat some person some person some person no it's not good you have to say some people face this uh, whereas others face this and that okay that's how you should okay. have done yes so you should say um so just a minute so some people may experience headache whereas or you, if you are not really comfortable with the you know the connecting phrases or longer sentences you can say uh, but others may have vomiting you know something like that you know you can use whatever the conditions you okay. wanted to do you know but this is just an example only okay i'm just giving you an example okay to use don't say some person again and again some people again and again okay that's not good again okay. you have said don't worry about that that's not good but you need to worry about this <laughs> all right this phrase has been used so many times okay uh, i can understand your problems you use these kinds of phrase i can understand your concerns or you can say um um be how you can use maybe other phrases like um i know where you come from i know where you come from okay something like that okay all right but try not okay. to use this okay uh, can i give lifestyle modifications uh, tips okay can i give lifestyle modification tips all right so in this case what what do you have to do can i give you or oh, instead of that can i please give you can i please give you some tips on lifestyle modifications all right okay. can i give you some tips or can i give you um some recommendations on changing your lifestyle or you can say can i please give you some uh, recommendations on lifestyle changes okay something like that all right this is not okay. good okay so the next one is you said help um, and then you have given a lot of passes in between and then you said improve uh, this will help uh, to improve so you have given lots of passes longer pause longer pause between two words or two phrases within a sentence is not accepted at all okay longer phrase okay. pause between two phrases in a sentence is not accepted even if you have a comma you can give a small pass not the longer pass again do you understand what okay. i mean yes right and then again you said social worker you didn't say a social worker otherwise you know if you have already talked about the worker you should say the social worker because you have already said about the worker right so yes. the first time when we use you know the singular noun okay for example a and an and then if you are going to tell the same thing once again we have to use the for example yeah. i will tell you this i saw a police officer yesterday the police officer was asking me several questions the police officer told me that there were some problems the police officer got my contact number something like that do you know what i mean so this is how you have to say the yeah. the 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 because we are referring to the same person once again so whether okay. you use a or an beforehand you have to use the if you are referring to the same person once again so if you want to use the okay. same person in the following sentences you have to use the only okay all right okay that will also that will i also okay that will uh, that i will take care or that i will do something that's what you said you should mention i will take care of that as well all right okay so you have been able to reduce you know your mistakes to some extent all right so i'm happy with that but the problem is you have committed um you know at least 18 to 19 mistakes okay i mean to me this is uh, definitely far better than c grade okay you should be able to get perhaps you know 300 out of 500 according to me all right perhaps oh, all right yeah. 
but you know you'll definitely get c plus you know according to me you will be able to definitely achieve c plus okay okay all right so i hope you understand you know, my yes, assessment sir. are you happy with your uh, assessment is it okay yes okay yeah i have also given you the tips on how to overcome your problem there are a couple of things yes, you have to focus on like that i will also that will also that also we will take uh, okay. this also we will take uh, that's wrong it's like a butler english okay it's not good okay yeah and uh, sorry to hear that don't say that um try to avoid i'm sorry uh, you know the false starts don't use false that. starts as well yes and do not do not create false starts again and again all right Okay. okay so yeah apart from that it, it was nice okay i'm very happy that you have been improving you have been reducing the frequency of the mistakes that's a good thing all right and okay. i wish you good luck with your next role play conversation as well thank you okay.